Hey guys, real quick before we start this vlog, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is from a few months back. So if you guys go back to the previous upload uh, that I posted this last week, it'll explain why there's such a gap and there's a big surprise at the end of that vlog. So if you wanna go find out that surprise, go do that first and then come on back over here to this vlog and watch our empty apartment tour. Um, with that being said, um, let's go ahead and get into this vlog. Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Today, I just want to um, apologize because I literally left you guys hanging when I put out my last vlog. Basically, the last vlog was us having our household goods packed and we've essentially been homeless up until about three weeks ago and it's just been a lot going on with us traveling across the country, visiting with our family, and then uh, getting flown over here to uh, Italy. So I just wanted to get this vlog um, kind of started. This is basically uh, gonna be almost an empty house tour of our apartment. We are in a 12 unit building in a three bedroom. So this is considered the smaller uh, three bedroom. There is a another three bedroom unit that I think has a little bit bigger um, space. Uh, not much though, it doesn't look like much. I've kind of looked at some like floor plans, but to be honest for this apartment, it is more than big enough for us considering that we were uh, in a one bedroom back in San Diego for the few months that we were there and everything like that. So with that being said, I wanted to show you guys around this apartment. Uh, we do have loaner furniture in here and then we kind of accumulated just a few things that we've needed since being here. And I wanna go ahead and get this vlog going and started because tomorrow we are getting part of our first shipment of our household goods. So super excited about that. And I just can't wait to finally have our stuff and get that all started organizing and putting away everything. So excuse me a little bit of an echo because I'm sure there's an echo, but we are just trying to make it through this because like I said, the past three weeks have been in a whirlwind with it moving and everything. And then also me and Wiley have been sick off and on. And that's also another reason why I haven't really walked a whole lot. But with that being said, let me give you guys a little walkthrough. All right, to kick off this little walkthrough tour, here is just our front door. If you open it, it opens out to this open area, I guess, which is a shared space between us and our neighbors. And then the door to get out is just right there and then down that hall and you're out. So the first thing you see when you open the door, right to your right, is a little wardrobe, which I'm gonna use as a coat closet and a shoe storage. And then you come in a little bit further. This is an actual storage room, which is gonna come in handy once we get all of our stuff here, um, like holiday decorations and stuff that we don't use every day. So that's gonna go in here. And then there is a small hallway here, which opens up into the living and what will be considered the dining area. So this is what we're working with. So this is all loaner furniture. And then these curtains, we actually just went and bought those uh, just because I wanted a little bit of privacy uh, during the day, so I went and bought those. So there's the kitchen, and then as you walk this way, the first door here on your left is the laundry room. Um, pretty decent sized laundry room. I like the size of that. And then you come down, and then you have to the right here is your kitchen. It's a nice little galley kitchen and it's pretty spacious and plenty of cabinets. And then there is the balcony here, which we are on the first floor. 
So you just come out. And then here is the balcony. And it goes to there. Now the double doors here go into the living room. And there's also this door here that just goes into the living room area as well. So nothing too crazy there. We will eventually be getting some furniture to be able to hang out there. So right across from the kitchen is, I guess you would consider the first bathroom. This one has the bathtub in it, which is great for having kids. Nice big open tub and shower. It's already come in handy. And then all the bathrooms do come with a bidet. And this is just kind of what's going on in here. And then as you make your way on down, here is a little linen closet, which will fill up with linens once we get, once we get it here. Here is the second bathroom. So this one has a stand-up shower, uh, really tall, which is really great because both Rusty and I are pretty tall. And then you obviously have the toilet, the bidet, and then right now, because we have no storage, everything's just on the window seal. But we plan on getting some storage soon to be able to put all that stuff. So there is the second bathroom. I guess you consider that the master bathroom because this is technically considered the master bedroom and right beside it is the bathroom. So you walk in, this is the loan of furniture, which will be switched out for our furniture. And I cannot wait because this bed is hard as a rock and it is worse than any motel mattress I've ever slept on. So that's saying something. But yeah, so here's this. And then in every bedroom, they have these things called wardrobes. They are massive and we're just gonna have to work with them, make them useful as best we can. And this is a loner dresser, which will not be here, but this is kind of what this room looks like. Then as you make your way down this hallway, here is the second bedroom. Right now it's just storing extra loner furniture and then it has some suitcases in here. And then here is this wardrobe. That one's a little smaller, which is kind of nice. And then this room, along with that room back there, which I'll show you in just a second, they also have doors, which lead out um, to another balcony area. So that's pretty cool. However, being that these rooms are gonna be for kids, <laughs> The, not such a good idea. So I don't know, we, we might be switching rooms up. Now, this very far back bedroom right now is set up for Wiley. Uh, the twin mattress is a loner. We just got this rug in the mail, just trying to put a little padding down for him. He's done really well on this mattress. And he's only come off a few times that I can recall. And he usually just gets right back up in the bed. But this is kind of what this room looks like. And then the, these doors lead out to that balcony I just showed you. And then here's his wardrobe, which I kind of have tucked behind the door. This is like perfect little space for a little kid. And I can't wait to get everything in here, get all his toys here and everything, which is kind of funny that I mentioned that. A lot of these toys are toys that have been recycled from people leaving them uh, out to be taken because they no longer wanted them or don't need them. So this is basically it for the three bedroom, which is the smaller of the three bedroom units. But if you guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. I am super excited to be getting some of our stuff in tomorrow and just looking forward to finally having some of our stuff back. With uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, and maybe I'll try to vlog a little bit of them bringing new, all of our stuff in tomorrow. So yeah, uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like this video, uh, be sure to stick around, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next vlog. Bye!